welcome back to the Beach Mom Bookworm. I'm Tiffany. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. My channel's all about cozy mysteries and romance books. And today I'm coming with five-ish, because I believe there's seven, paranormal wrecks from a non-paranormal reader. I don't read much paranormal. It's got to be light paranormal. So keep that in mind. But I think that these are really, really fun, light ghost witches. I think there's one other kind of book in here. Let me know what your favorites are. If you have any that are like paranormal, send them my way because I tend to really enjoy those. And let's get started in three, two, one, go. Remember to hit the like and subscribe below. Support is free and let's go. The first one is the Haunted Vintage series. First book is called, If You've Got It, Haunt It. This is by Rose Pressy. This is so much fun. It's set in Georgia and it features Coco Cookie Chanel, not Coco, Cookie Chanel, which is fabulous. She owns a vintage fashion shop called, it's vintage y'all. And in the first book, she's like putting stuff on the rack and she's talking to this customer. And then she realizes nobody else can see or hear the customer but her. Why? And the story takes off from there. It's been really fun. I've read the first three. There are seven books in this series. The first one I loved. I gave it like five cups of coffee. It was so much fun. The second one, I think I gave three. And then I just recently read the third one and I gave it like four, 4.5. So what has happened is we have a ghost that's been with us the entire time since book one. And then in the second book, there was, I think three ghosts. And that was just a little too much for me because the ghosts are constantly like in the main character's ear. And so it can be hard to follow. It's kind of chaotic. I don't like that as much. But in the third one, it was really fun because there was another ghost. So we have the ghost that's been with us the whole time. And there was another ghost, but he was like this PI from like the 40s or 50s. I think it was that time period. It was an older time period. It was kind of like a Sam Spade sort of. And it just was so Awesome. The next one is a series I loved. I'm so sad it only went three books. I highly recommend this series. It's the Hungarian Tea House Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Julia Buckley, who I think is a fantastic cozy mystery writer. I love her writing style. Book one in this series is called Death in a Budapest Butterfly. Oh my goodness. So our main character, Hannah, she and her family own a European style traditional tea service. And her family is Hungarian and there's so much Hungarian culture and like there's like you get like Hungarian like mythology sort of like urban legend type of stuff. I thought it was so cool. It's just unique. It's just fabulous. And I included it in the paranormal because the grandmother reads the future through tea leaves. This series, like I said, I'm so sad it only went three books. I highly recommend it. It is fantastic. Next up is the Ghostly Southern Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Tanya Kappas, who writes fantastic series, including The Campers and Criminals, which I highly recommend. This series of Ghostly Southern is set in Kentucky. Our main character, Emily, she and her family own a family funeral home together called Eternal Slumber. And she can see and speak to some of her clients. Her family and the people in the town, like think that she's having delusions and they think it's because of funeral trauma or funeral brain. And so they're like, Oh, that Emily, but it is laugh out loud. Funny. Tanya Kappas is hilarious. I highly recommend this series. It's seven books. I've read the first three. They've all been fantastic. Next up is the bewitching cozy mystery series. This is by Madeline Alt. This is an older series. I read this when I, first was getting into cozies. Book one is called The Trouble with Magic. There are seven books in this series. They're all fantastic. The first one was released in 2006, and I think all seven are pre released pretty close together. So again, it is older. It is so much fun. Our main character is Felicity. She is a witch. She owns a antique shop in Stony Mill, Indiana, and it was so much fun. It's been so long since I read it, but I just remember really liking it and really wanting more like books in this series. So that's always a gotta recommend right there. Next up, one of my favorite series of all time, it's the Pepper Martin series. First book is called Dawn of the Dead. 
This is by Casey Daniels. So this book takes, this series takes place in Ohio. Our main character, Pepper, she has never had a job. She has no skills. She grew up very privileged and her father was, I believe, in, like a surgeon. And at the beginning of book one, he is arrested or indicted for like white collar crime. I think like embezzling or something along that line. And all the family's assets are seized. And again, Pepper doesn't know what to do because she has no skills. She's never had a job. She's, you know, so she takes the only job she can get, which is a tour guide for a cemetery. And along the way, she conks her head on a tombstone and an accident and now can speak to the dead. And it is hilarious. It is absolutely fantastic. 10 books in this series, highly recommend. Next up is a trilogy I wish would have gone much longer. It's the Magic Potion Cozy Mystery Series by Heather Blake. Book one is called A Potion to Die For. This is set in Hitching Post, Alabama, the wedding capital of the South. I didn't know there was a wedding capital of the South, but apparently it's Hitching Post, Alabama. Our main character, Carly Bell Hartwell, she is a witch and she owns a potion shop. Fantastic. It is such a fun series. I absolutely love it. You should check that one out. And the last one that I have for you is an honorable mention. And the only reason it's an honorable mention is because I've only read one in this series. So I can't really say on good authority that I recommend this series, but I, I loved the first one. So it's got to be at least an honorable mention. It's a retired witches cozy mystery series. This is by Joyce and Jim Levine. There are three books in this series. I can't wait to get to the second one. It's definitely over at this point because sadly, Joyce and Jim Levine have both passed on. First book is called Spellbooked. It says this is set in North Carolina. So it's a group of witches that all want to retire. They're like, okay, it's time for us to move to Florida and relax and enjoy our retirement. But it's not just that they want to retire, they need to retire because they're losing some of their ability to cast spells or at least cast spells correctly. They're, they'll be like trying to cast a spell and then like something off the wall will happen because they've messed up words or something like that. Totally funny, laugh out loud funny. The other thing is, is they have to be replaced. They can't just say, well, oh, well, I'll just still retire. They have to be replaced or their group's magic is lost, so to speak. And so they're looking for um, some a replacement and it was fantastic. Loved the first one. Every time I thought it was getting a little too paranormal for me, they reined it back. Let me know again if you have any suggestions for light paranormal or light ghost witches, vampires, any of that. Give me a big thumbs up for this video and until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye everybody!